The fighting began in the early morning hours and lasted for most of the day. The insurgents initially had the advantage. They had commandeered the high ground in the Afghan capital to shoot down on secured targets from vacant buildings. The Taliban claimed responsibility, but U.S. officials blame another terrorist group, and they say Defense Secretary Leon Panetta's early assessment still holds. The intelligence indicates that uh, uh, the Haqqanis were behind the attacks that took place. The attacks on government buildings and NATO military bases were remarkable in scale and sophistication, and well-coordinated, says Mike Malinowski, a retired U.S. diplomat and expert on South Asia. It was planned out in advance. They had done surveillance work. They had mapped out this, and I would suspect that's probably true. So on the minus side, they have this ability to attack into the heart of Kabul. The Akani network has gained notoriety in recent years by becoming a leading killer of U.S. and NATO soldiers in Afghanistan. Saeed Jawad is a former Afghan ambassador to the U.S. They are definitely the most lethal group. Uh, they have uh, a lot more support from outside Afghanistan. Uh, they are a lot more ideological. Analysts say that ideology allows the Akani network to recruit more suicide bombers and foreign fighters who will engage in attacks where they are almost certainly going to be captured or killed. Jalaluddin Akani, a former anti-Soviet resistance commander, is the founder of the group. His son, Siraj Akani, is the operational commander. The group is based in Pakistan, and U.S. officials say the Akhanis have close links to that country's intelligence agency. Again, Secretary Panetta. There is a concern that uh, they continue to find safe haven back in Pakistan. Uh, and that's the kind of situation that has concerned us and that we have made very clear to the Pakistanis is not tolerable. Despite the heavy fighting, relatively few civilians died in the attacks, and that is drawing praise for Afghan security forces. Former Ambassador Jawad. I think that they responded very well, honestly, from, from where we started, and, and their, their bravery, their professionalism was exceptional. U.S. officials say there were no tactical gains for the insurgents and point out they did not capture any territory. The assaults did signal the beginning of the Taliban spring offensive and more suicide attacks are expected. Meredith Buell, VOA News, Washington.